Hello, everybody. Welcome back to our class. Today, we're going to learn how to do landscape painting. In Chinese, we call it mountains and waters. Why we call it mountains and waters? Because they are the basic elements of this kind of uh, painting. It's not uh, a real uh, scenery you, you might see in national parks or some uh, natural uh, places. They exist only in your mind, or uh, it's your spiritual home uh, that you can escape uh, into that from daily busy lives. The landscape paintings uh, um, developed in the Tang Dynasty and uh, uh, reached the heyday in the Song Dynasty where, when the uh, scholar official class uh, Confucian scholar official or literati class uh, favored that uh, they um, they are the practical uh, you know scholars not uh, like uh, unlike uh, Buddhist monks and uh, uh, Taoist priests or hermits uh, who can escape the daily lives to live in the mountains. Confucian scholars. Uh, they have to fulfill their social duties in the office in urban area. Um, so uh, when they return home from the uh, day job, they want to see these kind of paintings or paint uh, themselves the landscape paintings at home so they can feel that they live in the uh, ideal uh, Home, not in a busy town, you know, surrounded by the noises. Uh, so th it's their spiritual retreat or resort, if you will. So when we paint the landscape painting, we don't uh, paint what we see. We paint what we want to uh, travel to, uh, where to travel, you know, where to see and where to live. So. Um, it's like building a garden. As a matter of fact, uh, garden building, uh, uh, stone collecting, uh, is landscaping, uh, is very uh, is another hobby of the uh, gentry class or the scholar official class in Song Dynasty. And even the emperor are uh, competing with them in collecting rare uh, stones. And uh, those hobbies can uh, witness, you know, still exist today in Japan and China. Uh, it's an art of uh, uh, stone collecting or appreciation. Uh, upon bangs, it's part of the, uh, also known as miniature pot, potted landscape of bonsai in Japanese. We call it painting, potted landscape. So the manner we, we paint a landscape painting is just like uh, to build a potted landscape, so to speak. So this is, uh, for example, a potted landscape with uh, uh, small scale, you know, stones to um, simulate this kind of uh, this uh, real peaks in the Cascade Mountain or the Rockies. Uh, uh, by the way, I also like this uh, this approach. It's a very interesting modern. Uh, style with a voice to sim to or uh, suggest the snow or the clouds, and uh, so it could be very, um, very you know very um, free to build. Yet uh, it's very you know, abstract, like we saw in that uh, uh, modern bonsai. It could be uh, very realistic in a, in a small scale. Let me give you a good example. You see, this is the real snow uh, glacier mountain, and this is the, the Japanese uh, stone, uh, potted uh, stone landscape. It's a very, um, I'd say, suggestive. And this one I like a lot. This is another glacier picture with, you know, inspired this piece of stone to, sim to um, simulate the kind of feeling that you get with the glacier covered, the gla uh, ice capped mountain top. It's a very small 
part, part of the landscape. They give you the great majestic uh, f uh, mountain, uh, the feel of a majestic mountain. So that's uh, the kind of uh, uh, manner or approach we adopt when we paint Chinese landscape painting. We are actually like play the game of uh, a dot a Lego or uh, like uh, making a potted landscape or bonsai. So um, you should basically um, use the elements, uh, the stones and the rocks, the trees. So use different elements of uh, uh, landscape to create a uh, composition based on your ideal order, you know, or atmosphere. Um, so don't forget the void. So not just the, the stone and trees, water, and later we'll talk about clouds in other class, is a very important part of uh, landscape painting to make uh, the painting uh, more uh, with the, the life forces. <laughs> Next, we're going to uh, introduce some uh, basic uh, elements in landscape painting and uh, the principles of composition.